hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to the african print channel so today's project is going to be a diy of this clash press with this fabulous fabulous design and this particular design was inspired by a necklace that i did a while ago and this is the necklace that inspired this clash press so to start off the i took my fabric so i decided to go with the fabric that also had like a circular pattern and then i took like a large water glass and then i just basically started drawing circles around the circles that were on the fabric and then I just went in with the scissors and I cut out those round fabric circles. So those are all my fabric circles done and I also cut others of different colors just to mix it up. And then I now took my needle and thread and then I tied it at the end and then I'll take two of these little fabric pieces and just do a tartan stitch right around and then I left a space of about I think I just put two of my fingers about one and a half inch of a space which I was going to use to turn it inside out so if you prefer you can do this on the sewing machine but personally I find it really hard to sew something that small on a sewing machine especially if it's round And then after turning them inside out, I started ironing them, all of them to make them flat. So after ironing now, I now took my fabric pieces. And like I said, this is just a basic A4, A4 page dimensions. And I just started marking about a centimeter from the edge just to guide me as to where I should not place the flaps. This is going to be my seam allowance. And then after that, I now started placing the little round fabric flaps. And then, so I decided to just mix it up. And after that, I'll just take it straight to the sewing machine and then just sew it. And then I did the same thing for all the other layers, just placing them, you know, in a nice pattern, pinning them down and sewing them on the sewing machine. To the last layer of the fabric circles, I place them facing upwards against the others so that when I fold them over, the stitching will be hidden under. Then I just went ahead and I sewed those on the sewing machine.
and then when I was done I now flipped them over and then I ironed them down Now for the back piece, I now took my interfacing. I usually use the hard interfacing for purses, then I ironed it on. Then I also ironed the interfacing onto the front part of the bag. After ironing now, I now took my zipper, which I placed facing down. And then I put the lining fabric on top. And then I just put some pins and went ahead and sewed that on the sewing machine. Then after that, I flipped it over and then I now took my other back piece, the fabric, African print fabric back piece, and then I sold it onto the other side. Here I am, now it's been a while, I was in denial about my love. Here I stand, I know I walked away, had to find the person I Then after that I removed all the pins and then I opened that part of the zip up and then I ironed and you can now go ahead and top stitch your zipper if you wish I usually just don't do it but you can definitely go ahead and top stitch so now at this point I now took the African print fabric pieces with the interfacing and then I put them on one side. Then I took the lining pieces and then I put them onto one side. Then I just basically started putting pins right around the whole clutch press. And then on the lining I left a small gap for turning the clutch bag inside out. Then I just went ahead and I sewed this on the sewing machine. I now went on to the corners and then I snipped off the corners and then I used that little gap that I left on the lining that I did not stitch to turn the clutch bag inside out. It was kind of hard because the, the interfacing was really hard so it required a lot of energy to turn it inside out but I eventually did. So after turning it inside out, I now removed the lining and then I sewed that little gap shut that I used to turn it inside out and I just used a free hand stitch for this.
then I just decided to add some decorative zipper tags so you can definitely use some hot glue to make sure that those little circle fabric stay down and that they don't go up and uh, so thank you so much for stopping by thank you so much for watching this video and I'm going to see you in the next one bye